Hello and welcome to another New Ideas Review. This time round, the Lauer 100mm f2.8 CA Dreamer, a 2 to 1 macro lens, which means you can get really close and reproduce your subject up to two times life size on your sensor. Its other claim to fame is virtually no chromatic aberration, so none of those nasty purple and green fringes on your subjects. It has an f-stop range of f2.8 to 22 via a manual ring on this Sony version with very subtle stops at the clicked f-stops as marked on the barrel of the lens. The focus ring rotates about 120 degrees. It's quite stiff, but for macro work it's actually quite ideal, any looser than this and it wouldn't instill any confidence in trying to find focus. With the Sony version I have on test here, there's no communication between the camera body and the lens, so no EXIF data is passed between the two. The Canon version of this lens allows you to do that, however to compensate for this very slightly there are actually 13 aperture blades in the Iris on the Sony version rather than the 7 or 9 on the Canon, Pentax and Fuji versions. This gives you a nice circular aperture from f2.8 all the way to nearly f22. One thing I would say is that the front of the lens is quite open as you can see here. You have to be careful not to get dust and grit into the front of the lens. To help with that Lauer include a 67mm filter in the box but I didn't have one for this test. But I hear you yelling, get on with it, show us some samples. So here are a few shots. Most of these are taken at f22, and then a comparison is made at f4. However, on the last shot, it's shot at f22, and then wide open at f2.8. You can see how razor thin the depth of field is at f4, it's even worse at f2.8. And of course, you need a lot of light pumped in at f22. If you've never worked at f2.8 on a 2 to 1 macro level before, you'll find it incredibly frustrating to start with, and in fact, depending on what you're taking photographs of, you might find it easier to move the subject rather than the camera. You need a rock steady tripod and a rock steady hand, and also it's a good idea to have a timed shutter if possible. As well as the aforementioned filter, in the box you get a standard lens hood and a standard lens cap. Nothing too exciting here, but they do the job. This is a weighty lens at nearly 700 grams with an almost entirely metal construction, which is good to see. It doesn't have autofocus, but it produces really good results. And I'd like to thank Venus Optics for lending me the lens for testing. Anyway, please remember to like and subscribe. Links are available in the description below, which go to help this channel. And thanks for watching. See you next time.